Okay, it, it didn't. It just it just straight up didn't. The issues I and a lot of other people have with Enchanted Portals are the fundamentals. It's just a fundamentally flawed game. So it's not something that can be easily fixed by a single patch that took a little over two weeks to come out. It's just not gonna happen. So what did this patch fix? What have we been waiting for this whole time? Well, a couple of big things. Uh, the spell system has been revamped, thankfully. Uh, I don't believe I mentioned this in my last video, but you could not change your spell unless you were standing completely still, and you had to press a direction on the D-pad, which was very annoying. Uh, but thankfully, they made it so you can seamlessly switch between spells with a single button. It's kind of like a cycle, so that is a lot better. Like, a lot better. It is already a pretty good patch because it fixed one of the main issues I had with the game, which was how everything felt like it grinded against each other, like it wasn't working well. There is minimal delay between the actions, which is a lot better, meaning you can seamlessly dash and keep shooting. Uh, not while dashing, but you know, like more like Cuphead, where you can dash and then immediately keep shooting as the second you uh, hit the ground again. And finally, there is invulnerability time. So it, apparently it was in there before, but it was like half a second they've upped it to two seconds which is a lot better it is so much better the direction of your dash can be more easily changed to uh adjust your fall um which is very nice although the slipperiness still appears to be there which is very annoying but it's a step in the right direction at least uh, and a smaller thing, uh, now enemies in the jungle level will drop health, I guess they didn't before. And a couple of other balancing things, so overall it is a pretty good uh, first patch. However, the game is still not fixed, it is still not worth $20. It is still not worth it. It's just still not worth it in general. There's like, if you already have the game and you didn't like the controls and you stopped playing it because the controls were frustrating you, I'd recommend giving it a second try now because they are, they're just fixed. That doesn't make it a good game. It will never make it a good game. That doesn't mean it can't be a good game in the future. I'm just saying that this patch does not make it a good game. However, uh, it would take serious overhauls on the fundamentals of this game to make it playable or even good. Um, I hope they can do that. Uh, that would be great if this game had to turn around like No Man's Sky, but if they can't, uh, I would genuinely just, I would take all of the mistakes that they learned from Enchanted Portals and the devs put towards a new project that's not Enchanted Portals because I don't think that concept would work well. And also I wanted to talk about some of the comments on my last video. This is kind of like an update of Enchanted Portals and updating some of the information in my video. First off, they had a Kickstarter and it failed. And if you don't know how Kickstarters work, you do not get the money unless your Kickstarter succeeds and it hits its goal. So their goal was like a hundred thousand. I'm, I'm just gonna put it up. I don't know, but they 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 very much missed their goal. So all that money that people donated, it was just refunded, and Enchanted Portals devs didn't get any of it. But that doesn't mean they were like not funded. Epic Games gave them a grant to finish production. So sure, it wasn't like as much as they were asking, but it was still money. They were given money to make the game, so they weren't not funded at all. They might have been underfunded for what they were trying to do, but saying they didn't have any money was not a viable excuse and a lot of people in my comment section were trying to excuse the lack of quality for them being underfunded or just not having enough money. And also I had a, a couple of comments talking about how they were annoyed that I kept bringing up the fact that a lot of the assets or not the assets but the elements of Enchanted Portals were taken from Cuphead. To that uh, I say they were. Yes, I'm not saying Cuphead has a coin on 1930s animation style. They do not. They they missed that by almost a hundred years, right? However, a run and gun boss rush style game in the 1930s style of animation is a Cuphead coin. Well, is popularized by Cuphead. I'm not going to say Cuphead invented it because maybe there was an indie game before that no one really heard of and it just happened to have those same elements. But Cuphead insanely popularized it. So. That's why I said that they borrowed elements from Cuphead, including the style, because they did. It's clear that this game is not a ripoff. I won't say it's a ripoff. It is heavily inspired by Cuphead. There's no two ways about it. It is heavily inspired by Cuphead. That's it. Also, I saw a very interesting theory in the comments. Um, I had a problem with the trailers looking very good and polished and smooth animation and the game looking quite the opposite. And a lot of people in the comments shared that thought. And they also thought it was weird that it looked like that. And I had a couple comments saying that it's most likely that it was a flash animation that was playing over the, um, that was playing in the trailer and it wasn't actual gameplay. And that makes a lot of sense. The characters move kind of unnaturally in some parts and it makes a lot of sense uh, for it to just be an animation instead of raw gameplay. 
That being said, it still doesn't make sense that you couldn't reuse some of the animation assets that they used for that trailer in the actual game unless they didn't have access to those anymore. I'm not going to get into the problems with Enchanted Portals today, I just want to bring up some of the stuff that I didn't mention, that I felt like I should, and some updates to Enchanted Portals, and just kind of say I've, I should have been less, more constructive, less negative in that video. A lot of people are dogging on them right now. Fundamentally, the game is flawed, but it holds together surprisingly well for a two-person team. I still don't think it is not worth $20, and I don't think you should buy it in its current state, but I do think it can it can be worth it if they put the time, put the effort, put the love, all of the above in this game. I truly, truly hope for their uh, success with this game or any future projects, but it's just not a good game. I'm trying not to drag the devs as much as possible because they just weren't properly prepared for this big of a project, so I don't think we should drag them. I think... Criticism is completely valid. In its current state, the game is not worth it, but dragging them is not the answer. Uh, this will probably be my last video on Enchanted Portals uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, thank you so much for all the support um, on the ench first Enchanted Portals video. That is insane. Almost 50,000 views. I crossed 4,000 subscribers. It's it's insane. Uh, if you haven't seen my Trepang video, go check it out. I put a lot of time and effort into that video, even more so than the Enchanted Portals video. So if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check it out for me, and I'll see you guys in another video soon. I will try to live stream in the next couple days uh, my playthrough of Enchanted Portals. Uh, I've yet to fully beat the game, but I want to stream it for you and show you guys the patch and kind of just show you what's up with the game and how its current state, and also demonstrate why you probably shouldn't buy it right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.